Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Army Girl Budgets. And in today's video, we'll be going through our November 1st through 14th pay period. If that's something y'all are interested in, stay tuned. All right guys, so here is my month overview. This is like all of our bills that we have that come out different times of the month and um, a couple of important days like Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and my hubby's birthday. Um, but that is just how I break down to see and make sure that I'm putting everything into my budget when it's supposed to be there um, because we only get paid twice a month between me and my husband. And I don't like to budget every week like some people do. <laughs> I feel like that it just it gets really like I don't know confusing to me so I prefer to do it this way um, so twice a month is what I do but I make sure that everything is covered through all of the months and I honestly only pay my bills twice a month on when I get paid in the beginning of the month and then I pay again a um, mid-month and that's it like everything is scheduled to come out at that time so I don't have a whole bunch of stuff coming out on random days um, but on the monthly view I make sure that I put it in here based off of when it is actually due okay so give me one second and I'm gonna get everything situated and I'm gonna start doing this here budget okay one second all right y'all I am back and we're going to get right into this November 1st through 14th pay period. Now, y'all know me because y'all been watching me long enough. And if you're new here, I don't write straight. So I have to turn the, the paper to the side. It is just, I don't know. It's my thing. So <laughs> I'll tell you guys what I'm writing so you guys know. All right. So as far as our income, our income is still a little wonky um, just because we both got a raise and we're not really sure where it will level out. Um, for this pay period, I got paid actually more than I would normally even get paid because I got my clothing allowance too. And then um, poor, like literally two days of a raise. So they only paid me for two days of the raise because you get paid off of your anniversary day. And technically my anniversary day is October 28th. So yeah. But anyways, um, I'm going to say roughly $3,700 for one pay period. Um, and then $3,300 for the other. And my husband is not a salary worker. He is hourly. And so his pay really does fluctuate a lot. And so what I do for that is I make sure I um, budget for the lowest amount that he would get paid. And then if we have more than that, you know, it's more than that, which I can do other things with. So that together is 7000 All right, first thing up is rent. Um, that's going to get 1400 And then cars is going to get 650 I will be, guys, I'm going to be so excited when we're done paying my husband's car off. Um, but he's already looking at getting <laughs> his dream car, so... <laughs> I'm still going to be happy. Even if we don't have to pay a car note for like a month, I'm going to be like still ecstatic. Um, internet is $86.21. Um, we have AT&T. We don't have many choices out here where I live at because I kind of live in the cornfields. So yeah, unfortunately it is what it is until they might, I think they're getting spectrum out here and I'm kind of excited to see what that looks like. Um, insurance, our car insurance is $146. Um, our gas bill is going to be $52, and that's because our house is electric and gas as well. We're going to pay $70 to our Target bill. Our water bill is $150. Um, USAA is going to get $200 to our credit card, and this credit card is literally for our tolls. That's all we pay for on it nothing else literally nothing else goes on there so we use the tolls to go everywhere because of where we live and how my husband has to get to work so um whatever we use for the month we just pay it off right away my dad's life insurance is 105 and i got a couple questions about this um he pays half and i pay the other half so i get a, a deposit in to 
one of my accounts every month for a hundred dollars and then I just pay the other half um that hundred dollars just kind of stays in that account honestly I just put it in our um homeowners account like so we pay our rent in our in our mortgage out of one account and so I just put that hundred dollars in there so like if anything breaks like it has <laughs> I can go ahead and just uh, have a little bit there to cover whatever it is braces 250 i'll be glad when we knock one of those off and from my understanding i think march is the last day i'm gonna have to pay for my son's braces um, victoria's secret is 40 dollars. rooms to go is going to get a hundred dollars and these are credit cards but they're interest free so rooms to go and ashley they're both interest free loans and so i just make sure i make a hundred dollar payment on both of them um from now on because i want to get rid of like it's like a um both of the cards have like a promotion period and I think the promotion period is like 6 or 7 years to pay it off. It's crazy, but yeah, we're not going to do that. So I give them $100. Um my blue navy federal card is going to get $100 as well. My kids school lunch is going to get 125. I'm Hoping and praying that we can stay at 125 but honestly, if y'all saw my last video, y'all, um, my budget recap video for October 15th through 31st, y'all look, y'all know my struggle with this school lunch thing. Um, sports is going to get 250 and that is because I have to pay uh, 150 to volleyball, and then the other 100 is to my son. He does football speed and agility classes and stuff like that so that's that and then the star card is going to get fifty dollars all right so let's go ahead and add that up that is three thousand $974.21. Oh, I was just looking at something. Um, I forgot to put my mortgage here. So let me go ahead and put that there. Mortgage. I'm like, why is that so low? Okay, mortgage is going to get $1,000. <laughs> I'm like, am I missing something? Yes, you are, girl. <laughs> All right, so... Let me see if I can make this go away really quick without messing up everything else. All right, so that is $4,974.21. So after the, what I do here is I'm going to take 7,000 and I'm going to subtract $4,974.21 and, 20, and, and I get 2,000. $25.79. All right. So from there, we're going to have um, $350 for food. And then savings is going to get $100. And to be honest with y'all, I think that food is going to be more than that because of, I'm going to start buying things for Thanksgiving. Um, so we're going to subtract $450 from $2,025.79. All That gives me $1,575.79. And then in sinking funds, I'm going to put $300 into sinking funds. All right, and we're gonna subtract three hundred dollars from that fifteen seventy five, and that gives me twelve hundred seventy five dollars and seventy nine cents. And then, listen, y'all, I am going to do this. <laughs> I don't think anything is supposed to like come up. To be honest with you, it's pretty safe right now. <laughs> um, but I shouldn't have said that. Um, I'm going to put $600 to debt. 
and that is going to leave us with 675.79 now that seems like a lot of extra money but like i said thanksgiving is coming up and so um is some expenses for my daughter's volleyball um i gotta get her new shoes knee pads like we've got to start paying for her um out-of-state tournament and i ain't gonna lie unfortunately we're going to salt lake city i was i'm kind of tight because i wanted to go to vegas really bad like i had everything planned out and they changed it last minute but it is what it is we're gonna go to salt lake city and i'm gonna watch everybody else enjoy the outdoors because i have metal in my leg now and i don't do cold but anyways, that is what we have for right now. I'm sure that the 675, if you don't know, is going to cover gas, um, any eating out, and any incidentals that we find. And y'all, we find incidentals. <laughs> We're going to find some incidentals. That's kind of what we do um, in the Roberts family. But um, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. If y'all have any suggestions, go ahead and hit me up. Um, thank you to the viewer and y'all i don't even remember who said this to me but i'm going to put you on my screen the comment that said um to reach out to my bank and see if they will fix or lower my interest rate on my card i'm going to be doing that um this pay period like i have to put everything on a calendar that's just kind of how my brain works but I'm going to be working on that. I didn't know that was a thing, but I do appreciate it. So shout out to my viewer for like, let me know, girl, call your bank and see if they'll let you reduce your interest rate because that is bomb. All right. Um, thanks everybody for watching. If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever you want to talk to me about, leave a comment below. Till next time. Bye.